What's up everyone, it's your boy xmanny87 here, bringing you another Marvel Legends video, and what I have for you today is the Marvel Legends fan channel exclusive Agent Anti-Venom action figure review. Before I get into everything, if you could please leave a like rating on the video, and also if you could watch this video from beginning to end with all the changes going on on YouTube, it'll help show your support for my channel, and I would greatly appreciate it. Now with that said, Agent Anti-Venom comes with everything you see here, so let's cover his accessories first, and then we'll take a closer look at Agent Anti-Venom. Agent Anti-Venom comes with two SMG guns you see right here. He also comes with two handguns done nicely in a solid black color, just like the SMGs. Lastly, he comes with this tendril back piece, same that came with the last Agent Venom, this time in white. Very easy to pour it in, all you're gonna do is just push this peg inside the hole right there. And the coolest thing about these tendrils is that it comes with four of these tendrils that can hold each gun that he comes with. And you can just place the handgun in like so, placing the pointy part of the tendril through the uh, trigger. That way it has a nice grip. And do the same on the other side. And I like to place the SMGs on the bottom part of the tendrils. Do that on the other side. Again, make sure you have a nice grip. And now you can have your Agent Anti-Venom looking real badass, carrying all the guns with his tendrils. And if you want a fully loaded look, you can borrow the handguns that came with the original Agent Venom and place it on his hands. And I really wish he came with these original pistols because those look really badass. Before I take a closer look at Agent Anti-Venom, here he is next to the Agent Venom. And it's basically the same figure, we just get reverse colors and some silver thrown around. The base of this body originally came from the Toy Biz Face-Off Punisher, I believe. And, uh, you know, you get some new parts added in, like the new forearm pieces, new knee pads and boots. Uh, the overlay of the vest. And I believe the last time that that Toy Biz Marvel Legends Face-Off Punisher body mold was reused was for the S.H.I.E.L.D. agents in the S.H.I.E.L.D. vs. Hand Marvel Legends Hasbro 2-pack prior to when they released this Agent Venom. You could correct me if I'm wrong, but I recall that this was the last time they used it. Taking a closer look at Agent Anti-Venom here, I really like the head sculpt. I had no problem with it when they released it with the original Agent Venom. And I really like how, you know, you see the wrinkles on his expression right there. Um, got the, you know, reverse colors, so the black eye lens are in a solid, shiny, glossy black color. Unfortunately, uh, uh, the paint is not completed here on the trimming of the eye, so that's bothersome. Taking a look at the rest of the body here, um, they use that same overlay chest piece from the last Age of Venom, so I, I like it a lot. I just really like how this glossy black pops out. Um, you got the shoulder pads right here, and again, don't keep his arms posed up for too long because you will definitely warp these, so you'll have to keep reheating them to lay them, you know, flush on his shoulders. Here's taking a look at the back, and you got the hole there to plug the tendril in. Yeah, but I really like the colors, you know, I like how this is painted, the silver bicep plate right here. So it's a nice silver color, and you get some black trimming along the way. Uh, the forearms got a nice sculpt to them, and I really wish they did wrist hinges and a wrist swivel here. It's just a forearm piece, forearm swivel, so um, kind of is a bummer because, you know, you want to do a little more hand gestures, whether it's web slinging or, you know, sh holding his guns, shooting them in a certain direction. But again, the paint, you know, is nice. Got the black patch right there on the hand. The fingers always had a weird shape. How the hell can you hold a gun like that? I mean, I guess you can, but you'll have the aim as good as a stormtrooper missing all your shots. Taking a look at the lower body here, you got the belt straps with a bunch of uh, sculpted weapons in there. Man, I really wish that knife would have been removable and some of these pieces too. But, you know, it's all good. And, uh, you know, he's got some... So it's a nice sculpt. It, it really is. I like the uh, belt buckle here. Uh, it's in gray and silver, so nice way to make that pop out. Just wish we had a little more of those details spreading around. Just to break up the white here. Uh, Would have been cool to get a colored knife, not a plain white knife, but... And, you know, they could have colored some of this stuff. But, you know, it's a reuse. Looking at the rest of the lower legs here, you get those terrible ball-jointed hips. I hated these so much. I just never liked how they looked on a figure. And uh, on the legs, you get more of that silver plating on the thigh. Uh, you get the holster right here, which the gun is sculpted in. Not removable. Bummer. But the holster and the strap is 
painted in a nice gray. Uh, I like the mix of gray throughout, and I kind of wish we saw that on the belt because it just makes the white, black, and silver just pop out even more. Got that same silver painted plating on the side right here with some black. Um, again, I'm really happy with uh, most parts of this paint job, especially the solid black color. And oh my god, why they got to put the skew on a white painted figure on the side of his thigh right here. That is just ugly. I do not like when they do that. So now if I take photos, I got to edit this out because it just looks bad. I'm taking a look at the rest. Got the knee pads. You know, you got some of the spikes here that are also present on his shoulder pads and forearms. Again, really cool boots, nicely sculpted. Um, I wish you had some gray coming around here, like on the straps, but uh, the boots are cool for the most part. I like them. He's got these big shoes right here, nicely sculpted, and you got some nice treads right there. On the bottom of the feet, you know, he's got some sculpting on the treads there, and then you got the peg holes at the feet. And just to show you how he looks without the vest, as you can see, he's sharing the same body mold as the shield agent. And it's just easier to remove because you got these tabs here on the side, so I just popped the head. Uh, raised the arms up and I uh, pulled up from his right arm. So this is good for customizers that want to create like a new chest plate for him. They have a lot of base body room to do so. Now to cover articulation with Agent Anti-Venom here, let's start off with the tendrils so you can rotate them. So if you want to display with the longer tendrils up top, you can do that. His head looks up that far and it looks down that far. It moves left, it moves right. Some slight pivoting right here. His shoulders move up that far, so real good. He's got the shoulder swivel, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and a forearm swivel. His arms move down and all around. He's got an ab crunch that moves that far down and that far back. The vest does hinder it a little bit. And then you got waist swivel. You have his legs that move that far apart. Can't really move it that far from here since he's got all these pouches. But they're on a ball jointed hip, so you can point them in any direction you'd like. You got a thigh swivel and double jointed knees, but no heel to the anti butt. His ankles move that far up, so not much. It does move a better amount down, though. And he's got really good ankle pivot. For some comparisons, here he is next to the Agent Venom that we got back in 2015, I believe. And here he is next to my custom painted Thunderbolts Agent Venom. I expected to get a Thunderbolts Agent Venom first before an anti-Agent Venom. But hey, I'm good with my custom for now. Here he is next to the Symbiote Spider-Man and Venom. Here he is next to Boomerang since he had a run-in with him in the comics. And here he is next to the Shield Agent reusing that same body mold. Finally, here he is next to Poison and the regular anti-Venom figure. And wow, this is a team of Mighty Whitey Symbiotes. And just to show you, you could put those same exact white tendrils from the Anti-Agent Venom onto this Anti-Venom. And now for the return of my on-the-shelf segment, here is Agent Anti-Venom in my Spider-Verse slash Venomverse display. Really love how he stands out in this display. I will now work on a X marks the spot Spider-Verse highlight reel, so stay tuned for that. Alright, Toy Fam, so time to wrap things up. It's still a decent figure. It's still a good figure. I mean, I enjoyed the first Agent Venom that came out, but it could have used a few upgrades, like the gun holster should have been removable this time around. I just wish they did something about the ball-jointed hips. I am not a fan of those. If you already knew what to expect, like me that liked the original Agent Venom figure, then you're going to like this figure. However, if Hasbro decided to add a few upgrades to this figure, it would have been nice to get rid of those ball-jointed hips. Uh, maybe a new torso piece so he can have a better ab crunch because that torso can limit it. Not too bad, but it can hinder it a few. And adding a wrist hinge and a wrist swivel would have made all the difference in the world. And I wouldn't have minded it. Yeah, it would have meant we would have to probably wait a little bit longer to revisit a regular Agent Venom with a few upgrades. But still, I would have been cool with waiting for that. Because figures will eventually be revisited in upgraded body molds. However, as I mentioned before, if you are deeply invested into the Marvel Legends Spider-Verse with all the characters that they have released Spider-Verse related, then you are going to be happy with this one and it's a must own for you if that's the case. I do like how the reverse colors pop out on this one. It's really, really eye-catching, so I like that. My final rating for this guy will be a 7 out of 10, you know, it's okay, it's an okay figure. It's just some of the articulation just holds this figure back with those ball jointed hips and no wrist swivel or wrist hinges. But again, he's a decent figure with a decent paint job and he'll be surely likely to pop out very nicely in your Spider-Verse display. 
Alright, so that was my review. Please drop a like rating on the video. Comment. We'll chat about it. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Link is in the description below. Get your Marvel Legends fan channel exclusives at Big Bad Toy Store. Link is in the description below. Share and subscribe if you're new. Enjoy the pics at the end of the video. See you on the next review. Peace, peace.